Here at the 2011 Food Safety Summit in Washington, D.C. at the booth for Mocon Inc. I'm joined by Alan Trailer, and we're going to be discussing his new, uh, Mocon's one of their rapid technology platforms that they offer. Um, first of all, I instantly thought this was a PCR method because I heard that the turnaround was in very few hours. And what method are you using? Uh, it's not a PCR method. It's a, uh, a platinum porphyrin chemical luminescence method that was developed in the Republic of Ireland by our partner Luxel Biosciences uh, and what Mocon does is we're chiefly an instrumentation company that's a world leader in packaging and permeation so uh, it was natural for us to get into uh, bacterial uh, counts uh, in the food business because many of our best clients are in the food business. So that's the new technology uh, that we've implemented in, in the green light line of products which we, sh we're, we brought to the show. Okay, and what sort of productivity, like compared to say a gold standard method like culture? Yeah, uh, the, the standard methods um, as you know would probably take 48 to 72 hours for culture but they'd also need an extensive amount of preparation and uh, some counting, uh, manual counting methodologies that follow the culture. Um, the green light system does away with all of that. So you only really need to do the uh, stomaching of a homogenated sample or a swab or a, or a sponge and put it into the green light vial and then put, put the green light vial into the machine and the instrument will measure in about uh, one sixth of the time. So between one and 12 hours is typical. Okay, so someone, if they took a swab in their food processing facility, there's no other preparation, they just stick it in the machine? Yeah, they would uh, put it into, if it, if it was hyd if it's hydrated, and if it was already in uh, some liquid, they put it into the instrument and press go and away you go. Great. That's as much preparation as you'd need. Okay, so obviously in terms of efficiency, that's a big improvement. That's right, and to your earlier question, it's not really PCR. Um, because it is not looking at a predetermined uh, species. Uh, what it's looking for is total plate counts, aerobic plate count in totality. So you don't even have to know what's there, you just... Uh... Yeah, in fact it's a great screening tool because uh, you really don't have to um, uh, wait to discover what is the uh, specific uh, organism that you're looking for. You can do some quality control by uh, measuring the total plate count. Maybe a swab on a surface may have been um, a very low value yesterday and a very high value today, and then you know that you need a sanitizing step. Okay, so it's very suitable for monitoring and uh, yeah. confirming the efficacy. Absolutely, for food processors or, or in fact for food test labs, because test labs have to follow the same fairly slow regime to yeah. to do the test. And they obviously want to offer faster turnaround times. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, thanks very much. Thanks.